Hi guys, glory to Jesus Christ. Well, I survived Sunday school round one, and I think that the students did as well. <laughs> it was mainly just a getting to know you kind of thing, you know. I just wanted to sit and talk with them a little bit about what some of their questions are. What are the topics that they would like to see covered? And you know, I wanted to see what would kind of come up naturally amongst the group, um, even though I knew I had topics I was supposed to eventually get to, but you know. I think it's very important to just be genuine, you know, particularly with, with children and with teens because they have excellent BS detectors. And if you try, you know, if you try to be hip, you try to be cool, it's, they see right through that and they get turned off. And why shouldn't they? I would be turned off too. So there is a marked interest in Satanism, which I thought was very interesting. And when I mentioned that there had been an anonymous question about it, I mean, the class like erupted and they had all these questions. They wanted to know, you know, you know well, we've heard this or we've, I mean, they were like seriously interested. So I thought, all right, well, I'm going to do some research and report back to you guys. And the other question that came up was, you know, how is it that various religions such as Christianity and Islam could both have love and compassion and tolerance as central tenets of their religion and then you have stuff like isis who wants to kill christians you know how how did that all happen and so we didn't really discuss that yet but that went down in my little notebook of things to discuss and i, I think i think the lesson that we can learn from that one of them anyway the one that just comes immediately to mind is that well the reason that that happens is because people are sinners People do bad things. You know, we all do. And in some cultures, in some families, in some part of the world, in some cults, however you want to divide it up, it gets really, really, really bad and violent and awful. You know, also, of course, there's political corruption that plays into it, you know. Various superpowers, <clears throat> the United States, <clears throat> selling weapons to various groups, whatever. Anyway, I just wanted to say that I survived Sunday school. Woo! So, uh, the other thing that I wanted to say, just real quick, this is more of like a nuts and bolts type thing than anything, is the relics of St. Nectarius of Aegina are going to be in Philadelphia from... Friday the 17th of October, this is 2014 by the way, future people, uh, all the way to the 21st, which is that Tuesday. St. Nectarius is known as a miraculous healer. He has a sp specific uh, affinity or association with healing cancer patients. Okay, so if you are in the Philadelphia area, it doesn't matter if you're Orthodox or not. If you're in the Philadelphia area and you would like to come venerate the relics, um, they are going to be at Holy Trinity Romanian Orthodox Church in Philadelphia. It's on North American Street. And they are going to be leaving the church open from about 8.30 in the morning to 8.30 at night. So if you would like to go pray in front of the relics, remember when we pray in front of relics or whatever, we're not praying to any other gods or anything like that, but we are asking a saint who has been given a special grace by God to work miracles. We are asking for, you know, God to help us or help the people for whom we're praying through that saint. That's all. This is not idolatry. We're not worshiping the created rather than the creators. Nothing like that. If you are not in the Philadelphia area, or you can't get there. I am going to be there quite a bit. So, if you would like to submit names for me to pray for, I will do that. You can just actually can you send me a message? Don't don't leave a comment because um sometimes I'm not really very good about checking the comments, especially as they're getting to be more and more of them. It's very hard for me to keep track of. Them. So, if you would just send me a comment, I don't need last names. You know, just however much information you want to give is fine. Just the first names is usually what we use. Okay? I'd be happy to do that because I'm going to be there for a while. My father works at a cancer hospital. 
So not in the area, unfortunately, but he, uh, he works at a cancer hospital. And, uh, so, you know, he's hopefully going to give me a big list of names. Anyway, that's about it for right now. I do have another video coming out. It's a nuts and bolts video, but this is just kind of even more random than that. So be assured of my prayers. Please give me yours. I really, really, really need them. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay. All right. Have a good day. God bless you. Bye.